yeah, are you hungry yet? Welcome to Filmspiration, inspiration for everyone through the lens of a filmmaker. You know, my name is writer, director, Edgar Ibarra. Let's get down to business. So, why flash a bunch of food in front of you? Especially really yummy food that I hope had you at least mouth-watering for a little bit. AJ, Karen, hello. Ronnie, how are you? Uh, Tia Jenny, how you doing? Um, why flash a bunch of food in front of you? Well, I reached out to the owners and operators of Ken's Hardwood Barbecue here in Tucson, Arizona. Um, they were gracious enough to let me go ahead with the following. Basically, um, as you, many of you know, we're trying to make a feature film here. We've actually already started into that. Um, it's called All We Have, and we're raising funds as a perk for phones blowing up, as a perk for um, the fundraising. Um, if and when everyone who, who has already donated and who will be donating um, will be put into a drawing where I will take you, the lucky winner of uh, the drawing, to Ken's Barbecue on 22nd. So let's go ahead and go back to Ken's for a moment because uh, I want to make you hungry as my phone keeps on blowing up more and more. So without further ado, let's talk about Ken's Hardwood Barbecue here in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, established by uh, founders Ken Alexander and his son KG. Uh, they're located at 5250 East 22nd Street. Their number is 520-745-4647. Uh, they use hickory and pecan wood in their smoker. Their desserts are homemade. Oh my god, look at those chicken wings. You can't tell me that that doesn't taste good. And here's a really neat fact. They're family owned and operated here in Tucson, Arizona. So what would be cooler than um, supporting a local company and just, you know, making sure that they get your love. Here we go. Let me uh, get ready to go back to me. Oh, that's not me. Okay, here we go. So that's me on camera. What would be cooler than to be able to support a local company, family owned and operated like Ken's? And you guys, I don't have to, and I hope I don't have to try to convince you. Look at the food. Oh man, that's so yummy. So, I personally have had Ken's barbecue. I thought I was not a big barbecue person. Um, and it is a rare treat for me, but when I had Ken's, oh my God, there's, there's no way to tell you how good the food is. And I bring this up because I would love to take you to Ken's barbecue. Now, how do you do that? Again, we're trying to make a movie here in Tucson, Arizona. We actually just started up this past weekend. We'll roll a clip of those production photos. But um, here's how you can enroll your name so that I take you along with uh, Assistant Director Fausto Olmo Renteria to Ken's Barbecue um, on us. You just basically put in a little donation. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the uh, Indiegogo page right here. This is the Indiegogo page, and you will find a link to that in the description. And basically, this was, it's at zero dollars. It's not at zero dollars in all actuality. This is when it first started. But, um, you know, a little donation. Anything and everything you can give, it's all greatly appreciated. It goes to mainly uh, feeding and paying actors and actresses on the set of All We Have. And um, you can just kind of go ahead and see all the perks that we have. Everything from, you know, appearing on set to... What do you hope people you take away from call. us? Oops, wrong video clip. Um, you get a little phone call from me. And once you enroll you know, through a little donation on the Indiegogo page. That's what the main page looks like. Again, that link is right there in the description. Let me come back right on camera. So once you enroll with a little donation of no matter how much or how little you choose to give, if you do so, uh, your name automatically goes into the hat. Into the hat for what? We draw your name and you, the lucky winner, hopefully it's you, the lucky winner, will be taken by Fausto Olmo Renteria, Assistant Director, and myself, Writer Director Ed Rivera, to Ken's Hardwood Barbecue, located at 5250 East 22nd Street. Phone number 520-745-4647. And again, it's established by Ken Alexander and his son KG. They are family owned and operated. They use hickory and pecan wood in their smoker. This is no joke, you guys. They, they go out of their way to make sure it is pecan and hickory wood in their smoker. And their desserts are homemade. Um, again, you guys, family owned and operated. I mean, I hope I really don't have to convince you guys. Uh, I'm getting hungry just watching, in all honesty. Let's be honest. I'll be very honest with you. Um, 
get ready to go back on camera with me Ta-da! so again you guys um, let's support Ken's and uh, if you can support the actors and actresses who deserve to be paid compensated and fed um, on the set of all we have and again once you uh, enroll via a small donation on the Indiegogo page which uh, link you can find in right in there in the description uh, your names automatically thrown into the hat the drawing will be after the uh, um, let me see after the campaign I'm losing my words here after the campaign uh, concludes now the campaign I actually recently extended it uh, out I think I believe it was 13 more days and we're down to nine more days now we are up to $37.95, $3,795. I want to give big, big fat out, fat out, fat out, shout out, fat shout out thank yous to uh, Solomon Carranza, executive producer. Victor and, and Solomon, thank you so much for stepping up, man, along with everyone else. Solomon and everyone else I'm about to list. I'll go into it right now, but let me see. We got Victor and Yemi. Uh, Raquel Gamboa, Monica Uriarte, and Anonymous, Anonymous, we love you. You might be Anonymous, we still love you. Albert, Leslie Ann, Alexander, uh, Sharon Alexander, excuse me. Saúl de Negro, Horacio Rodriguez, Bart Santelo, Eva Carrillo, Whitney Clark, Maribel Ibarra, AJ O'Neill, Alfonso Sagún, and Leda Herring. You guys, here, let me bring my mug back up so just so that I can see what's going on. You guys literally said through your donations, I believe in this production. I want to see it happen and I want to make sure that people get fade fade. I'm let me get a let me get a drink of water here. Okay. Watch this. Director's gonna drink some water. You guys literally said, I believe in this production and you want to make sure that people get paid and compensated and fed. Uh fat shout out producers AJ. Heck yeah, brother. Um, so, you guys who gave as as much as you could, uh, e e despite whatever amount it may have been, it comes from the heart, and it's all appreciated. Everything from 10 or $20, which means gas in our tanks to get us around town to film this movie, to bigger amounts. You guys literally stepped up and said, I believe in this production. I want to see this happen. No one made you do it. I asked, you said, let's do this. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, what production are we talking about? Of course, I know many of us have already seen the concept trailer. Um, let's go ahead and roll that, just to make sure that we know what we're talking about. This is the concept trailer for all we have, the upcoming feature film that we actually started shooting this past weekend. We'll go to some uh, production uh, photos, a little production montage right afterwards. Without further ado, production concept trailer for all we have. All we have is the story of Natalia and Andres, who met one day by accident on campus when Andres rushed by, running into Natalia, knocking her to the ground. He felt bad, helped her up, but she definitely wasn't pleased. Later that day, Andres notices Natalia waiting for the bus. Still feeling bad about what happened earlier, he offers her a ride, nothing more, nothing less. Natalia, still unhappy, sizes him up and quickly cuts him down to size. Andres gets the hint and backs off. But as he leaves, Natalia second guesses her judging a book by its cover and decides to give diplomacy a chance. During the car ride home, Natalia begins to understand that beneath Andres's tough exterior lies a timid sensibility. A young man simply trying to find his way in the world. And in turn, Andres quickly realizes that beneath an occasional smile, Natalia is a world all her own of science and a sense of wonder for the unknown. A young lady not to be taken lightly. In time, they became friends, and in an ever-shifting world around them, they gravitated to a calm that each discovered in the other. One day, Natalia introduced Andres to a person from her past, Paulo. 
At first, the two men seemed to hit it off. But soon enough, Paulo became increasingly passive-aggressive toward Andres, who couldn't figure out why. In time, Andres's feelings for Natalia turned into something more that he could no longer ignore. And on a cold day, he took a risk and told her exactly what he felt for her. Her reaction wasn't what he expected. Had he done something wrong? And deep down inside, does she feel for Andres what he feels for her? And who exactly is Paulo from Natalia's past? And what specific information does he know that has such a strong hold on her in the present? And that was a concept trailer for the upcoming independent feature film, All We Have. Being shot in its entirety here in Tucson, Arizona. My name is writer-director Edgar Ibarra. And I am producer Fausto Olmos Renteria. And we'd like to extend to you, ladies and gentlemen, an invitation to be a part of this independent film. And you can do that in the form of a donation to our Indiegogo campaign and get some wonderful perks. But it's not just about our needs here. More importantly, it's about being able to have you guys along for a very special journey of a very special type of story that we're going to be telling here in Tucson. It's all Latino-based, which is also great for our community. You know the style of filmmaking that we do. And if you don't, check out the description below for a link to our body of work. And remember, no donation is too big or too small. Every little penny helps. Everyone, thank you so much for your time, and thank you for always supporting the filmmaking that we do right here in the old Pueblo. I'm producer Fausto Olmos Renteria. And I'm writer-director Edgar Rivarra. See you at the movies later this year. One man applause right here. Yeah, so that's the concept trailer for uh, the independent feature film. We actually just started shooting this past weekend. Props to everyone who came out, by the way, to uh, help. Even if you didn't come out, if you're aboard this production or if, you're just, if you just have your eye on it. Thank you so much for all of your support. We got it off the ground on Saturday morning. It was an intense Saturday, an intense Sunday. So let's go ahead and roll a little montage of that. But that's the movie we're trying to make for which we are trying to raise funds. Uh, campaign is extended out, I believe, nine more days. Um, and again, you enroll in the campaign with a donation of any size, and you win a, well, with a drawing, you win, and I hope it's you, that wins the dinner with Fausto and myself. Um, shout out to uh, everyone who's aboard. Ana Baez, Richard Goldstein, Ryan Christopher, Thank you for jumping aboard, Monica Uriarte, Alfonso Bautista, Edwin, Licona, I'm sorry if I butchered your last name, brother, uh, Lourdes, thank you so much for jumping aboard. Okay, so here are, here's a little photo montage of the first production this past weekend. And again, that was a little photo montage from this past weekend, which was the first weekend of the shoot for the independent feature film, All We Have, that we are shooting here in Tucson, Arizona. Um, it was an intense weekend, but uh, everyone who came out, really not just one person, but collectively, was very, very touched. I was very, very touched that uh, basically um, so much time and energy would be dedicated to this. And it's happening, but only because everyone came together. This doesn't happen um, alone. It's not a one-person production, I can definitely tell you that. It's about the teamwork and the powerhouse of the team that definitely came together. That was it right there. Um, so, once again, that's the movie that we started to make. 
you saw the concept trailer, more or less the idea of the type of film with a lot of questions that can be answered and will be answered in time once the film is complete. And how can you help out? Well, through a donation to our Indiegogo page, donation of any size, all donations uh, of all sizes are uh, accepted. We feel the love comes in many different uh, shapes and sizes in, in with regards to donations and whatnot. And so um, when, here let me get my mug back on camera, once, again, once you get a little donation in, my hope is that you are the winner of uh, the uh, contest in which your name will be put into a drawing for, let's go to it, Ken's Hardwood Barbecue at 5250 East 22nd. And again, Ken's is founded by Ken Alexander and his son KG. It's family owned and operated. They use hickory and pecan wood in their smoker and um, their desserts are homemade. Oh my God. I just keep getting more and more hungry in all honesty, especially those chicken wings right there. Um, they are located again at 5250 East 22nd and their phone number is 745-4647. All of that information, everyone, can be found on the um, in the description of this post and it will be there once this uh, Facebook Live turns into a regular post. Let me go ahead and get my mug back on camera. Yep, here we are. So again, a little donation of uh, any any size, no donations too small or too big. And then we get your name into a drawing, get you on over to Ken's if you're the lucky winner. I hope you are with uh, Assistant Director Fausto Olmos Renteria and myself, Writer Director Edgar Ibarra, if you donate. If so, and if you will be doing so, and for those who have already done so, thank you so much. It means so much because you literally are saying uh, through your monetary contribution, I believe in that movie, let's make it happen. So. I was able to catch up with um, the two leads of All We Have, Miss Karen Marroquin and also Stefan Oropesa. I asked Karen, let me see, I'm trying to line up my video. I asked Karen, um, a little topic here, what is her message to um, all you ladies out there with regards to independent film? Maybe you have a story to tell and you want to push forward and you want to maybe um, we step into the realm of filmmaking or maybe acting. Here's what Karen had to say. Well, I feel like as a female, we all have our different struggles, especially in the society that we lived in and with our history um, of like the United States. And so I feel like we've struggled very much. And so I think that we need so much more um, women in this industry that represent not only different ethnicities, different races, or different races, different sexes, you know, um, both male and female, but I do feel that there's a strong need for more females in this industry. And uh, especially filmmakers just like you, Edgar, or, um, script writers, and I think that if we have more women in this industry in general, not just actresses, I think that we can progress more and more and maybe we can see more equality in the future. And I know that having perfect equality will never happen because unfortunately that's just the way that our society works. I feel like we can work to maybe being a little more equal. Like I know that in the past things were worse and even though now they're not perfect, we're slowly, we've been trying to slowly progress, even though sometimes it feels like we're taking three steps back instead of taking one step forward. But like I said, just hard work, dedication, and persistence. If you need to have persistence, because if you don't, that you're never gonna get anywhere. And so I just ask all of these female script writers, actresses, all these different people, like crew, to just go out there and to try their best and to just be themselves like I've said multiple times because that's something that I truly feel that is the most important thing. Just be your true self. Okay, I got the mic open. Bam! Powerhouse Miss Karen Marroquin and I, one of the most amazing things about Karen is that she's a wealth, an absolute wealth of knowledge and wisdom. Here's the kicker. She's young. She's 18 years old 
and um, you really kind of have to wonder where all where such knowledge and wisdom comes from but it's innate with her that's why I always enjoy whenever I can have time just talking about you know things outside of the production um, or just life stuff in general uh, she's a powerhouse of knowledge and I always appreciate the opportunity to talk to her now with Mr. Uh, Stefan Oropesa the lead and, and Karen is a female lead of the movie Mr. Stefan Oropesa I got to uh, interview him as well and I wanted to ask him what could you guys expect of the film I mean you just saw the concept trailer of the movie let's see what Stefan had to say with regards to like what you know what's going to come your way in the shape of this movie. So here we go. What do you hope people take away from the story? Um, to not be afraid to love. Um, that's what I think. Um, you know, because there's just... It's in modern day, you know, it's so rare to hear somebody be like, oh, we've been together for 20 plus years. You know, we're still going strong. Or we've been together, you know, pushing that up to 50 years. And, you know, and you see older couples been together for so long and today you only see that on that only lasts what 10 plus if that you know you know it's it's so sad you know and then you know there is true love out there you know but I think now today modern days I think people are so afraid to and um, and make those memories and live in those moments and and grow um, from from that whole situation um, even if you know it doesn't work out you know you you've grown you know you've you've loved, you've lost, and now you're going to love even bigger in a certain way because you've learned from that first one. So I think love, you know, and, and it's the language of the world, you know, everybody speaks it, you know, but just to, just to love and just to let go, I think that's what people are going to take away from it. Oh my god, and I hadn't even opened the mic. Alright, so I just let a bunch of images roll. Yeah, you guys, uh, that was Ken's Barbecue one more time, and they're on 5250 East 22nd. Um, their food is so good, and I would love to take you to dinner if you can be the lucky winner of our drawing. And how do you get into that drawing? Once again, little donation to our Indiegogo page. Anything and everything is greatly appreciated. And afterwards, we get to talk to you over some barbecue, um, and you shoot away with any questions that you may have, anything you want to know. So, um, you know what? I want to hear from you guys. Let me see. Mario, yeah, man, I'm sorry. That was, that was my bad. Uh, I forgot to open up the microphone, but it's opened. So, you got that 10-second delay. But, um, yeah, man, so that's, uh, that's Ken's Barbecue, and I'm definitely definitely happy to partner up I'm very blessed to be able to partner up with them and offer uh, this uh, special so you guys when 
you jump aboard this production and for those of you who have thank you so much um, you know who you are and uh, all the backers are right there on our page you guys are literally saying or have literally said through a donation already that you believe in independent film it's like supporting any sort of other um, small business endeavor except this is a film we're making here um, but you're basically and literally saying you believe in the film you believe in the concept of the film you believe in what you were shown and I'll sh we'll get to the concept trailer one more time I hope you'll jump aboard one more time with a donation of uh, any size any and everything's greatly appreciated and even if you can't no worries even a share is good even tell somebody hey there's this movie it's being made in Tucson so without further ado let's go ahead and go back to the concept trailer of uh, all we have this is going to kind of give you an idea more or less of the feel and uh, what we're trying to put together what we are actually what we already started putting together this week in here in Tucson Arizona enjoy All we have is the story of Natalia and Andres, who met one day by accident on campus when Andres rushed by, running into Natalia, knocking her to the ground. He felt bad, helped her up, but she definitely wasn't pleased. Later that day, Andres noticed Natalia waiting for the bus. Still feeling bad about what happened earlier, he offers her a ride, nothing more, nothing less. Natalia, still unhappy, sizes him up and quickly cuts him down to size. Andres gets the hint and backs off. But as he leaves, Natalia second guesses her judging a book by its cover and decides to give diplomacy a chance. During the car ride home, Natalia begins to understand that beneath Andres's tough exterior lies a timid sensibility. A young man simply trying to find his way in the world. And in turn, Andres quickly realizes that beneath an occasional smile, Natalia is a world all her own of science and a sense of wonder for the unknown. A young lady not to be taken lightly. In time, they became friends, and in an ever-shifting world around them, they gravitated to a calm that each discovered in the other. One day, Natalia introduced Andres to a person from her past, Paulo. At first, the two men seemed to hit it off, but soon enough, Paulo became increasingly passive-aggressive toward Andres, who couldn't figure out why. In time, Andres's feelings for Natalia turned into something more that he could no longer ignore. And on a cold day, he took a risk and told her exactly what he felt for her. Her reaction wasn't what he expected. Had he done something wrong? And deep down inside, does she feel for Andres what he feels for her? And who exactly is Paulo from Natalia's past? And what specific information does he know that has such a strong hold on her? in the present. And now All right, I thought I'd cut that part off um, because I'm kind of, it's redundant, kind of communicating the same thing, but that's the movie we're trying to make. We're actually not trying. We actually just started this past weekend here in Tucson, Arizona, and um, you can jump in with a little donation to oh wrong page okay there we go um you can jump in with a little donation to our indiegogo page this is when we had barely first launched it so um we have a lot of support thank you so much for everyone who's already jumped in and once you jump aboard with a donation of any size yes you will be entered in a drawing in which you if you are the lucky winner and i hope you are I want to treat you to Ken's Hardwood Barbecue, located at 5250 East 22nd, area code 520-745-4647. Uh, it's family owned and operated. The founders are Ken, Mr. Ken Alexander, and his son KG. They make home desserts, and they use hickory and pecan wood in their smoker. You can't tell me that doesn't look good. That looks amazing. And frankly, it was really hard to edit this piece 
because I had to stop every now and then and remind myself those are just images it's not the actual food I can't reach in through the screen but look at how that's that's KG and uh, Ken right there they were on screen um, it is so yummy everyone okay so let me try to catch this right now okay there's my mug on camera so like I said trying to make a movie that's the Indiegogo page if you're the winner and your your uh, name is drawn if you're the lucky winner after a donation we're gonna take you to Ken's and we want to basically chit chat with you we want to hear what you have to say with regards to why you supported um, just we just want to hang out with you myself and assistant director Fausto Olmo Frenteria and myself we want to hear from you and you know why what you, you're interested in independent film um, why support because we're flattered and we're happy that you did now going back to let's see a little rundown oh okay concept trailer you guys let's let's go ahead and go back to this weekend um this is a little photo montage very first weekend of shooting it was intense but a lot of uh talent in front of as well as behind the camera came out um i was actually very super duper 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 touched as to how much passion went into this weekend and how despite how exhausting it was um, we still came together and we still made this happen so without further ado here's a little montage of the first weekend starting on Saturday and some pictures from Sunday as well Okay, there you go. Microphone's open. That was our first intense weekend starting on Saturday. Very, very long day Saturday. Very much so also on Sunday. A little bit less on Sunday on the front end, but still though, extremely active. Thank you so much for everyone who came out. Now, two of the people that you saw us filming, photographing, were uh, actors, um, Mr. Stefano Ropesa, as well as Karen Marroquin. So again, I asked Karen, you know, a little something a little different. If she had a message to uh, all you ladies out there who maybe have an idea, a concept, something that you want to put on film, maybe it's a documentary or a narrative, whatever it may be, some story that you want to tell, and uh, you know, just her two cents on what she would tell all you ladies out there, aspiring actors, actresses, um, I'm sorry, actresses, and um, female filmmakers. Here's what Miss Karen had to say, wise beyond her words. Check this out. Well, I feel like as a female, we all have our different struggles, especially in the society that we lived in and with our history um, of like the United States. And so I feel like we've struggled very much. And so I think that we need so much more um, women in this industry that represent not only different ethnicities, different races, uh, different races, different sexes, you know, um, both male and female, but I do feel that there's a strong need for more females in this industry and uh, especially filmmakers just like you, Edgar, or, um, script writers, and I think that if we have more women in this industry in general, not just actresses, I think that we can progress more and more and maybe we can see more equality in the future. And I know that having perfect equality will never happen because unfortunately that's just the way that our society works. I feel like we can work to maybe being a little more equal. Like I know that in the past things were worse and even though now they're not perfect, we're slowly, we've been trying to slowly progress even though sometimes it feels like we're taking three steps back instead of taking one step forward. But like I said, just hard work, dedication, and persistence. If you need to have persistence because if you don't, that you're never going to get anywhere. And so I just ask all of these 
female scriptwriters, actresses, all these different people, like crew, to just go out there and to try their best and to just be themselves, like I've said multiple times, because that's something that I truly feel that is the most important thing. Just be your true self. That was Miss Karen Marroquin again. Wise beyond, and, and I, I noticed earlier I said wise beyond her words. Hmm. Maybe I need a, a, a drink of water right down there. Um, what I really meant to say was wise beyond her years. Her words are wise beyond her years. That's a tongue twister. Let me take a glass. I'm not going to take a glass. I'm going to take a drink from the glass of water. Oh, that was good. Alrighty. And Mr. Stefan Oropesa. So, Mr. Stefan Oropesa is our... Karen is our uh, our female lead actress in the film. Mr. Stefan Oropesa is our female... Uh, as our male lead. Sorry, Stefan. Um, let's see what he had to say when I asked him, Hey, Stefan, you know, in, in very generic terms, what could people expect when they watch this movie? You guys saw the concept trailer. More or less, you guys have a more or less feel of the film. Um, but, you know, he, he had a really great response. And I really, really want you guys to go ahead and, uh, and check this out. I have water. Okay, here we go, Mr. Stefan Oropes, without further ado. What do you hope people take away from the story? Um, to not be afraid to love. Um, that's what I think. Um, you know, because there's just... It's in modern day, you know, it's so rare to hear somebody be like, Oh, we've been together for 20 plus years. You know, we're still going strong. Or we've been together, you know, pushing that up to 50 years. And, you know, and you see older couples that are, you know, been together for so long. And today you only see that, on, that only lasts, what, 10 plus, if that, you know, you know, it's, it's so sad, you know. And then, you know, there is true love out there, you know. But I think now today, modern days, I think people are so afraid to and, um, and make those memories and live in those moments and, and grow um, from, from that whole situation. Um, and even if, you know, it doesn't work out, you know, you you've grown, you know, you've, you've loved, you've lost, and now you're going to love even bigger in a certain way because you've learned from that first one. So I think love, you know, and, and it's the language of the world, you know, everybody speaks it, you know, but just to, just to love and just to let go, I think that's what people are going to take away from it. Wow, Mr. Stefano Lopeza. That was cool, man. Um, I had the pleasure of finally jumping into action, literally saying action, this weekend with both uh, Karen and Stefan. <sighs> Let me tell you, you guys are in for a treat with regards to um, the things that they will make you feel on screen. And so, uh, that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. But again, the Karen and Stefan are the two... Uh, uh, leads for our uh, upcoming feature film all we have here's the poster for that it's a love story boy meets girl type of thing things happen what will happen after that that's more or less uh, where I'll leave it with that and of course uh, this is how you can jump in right here this is our Indiegogo page uh, before when we had no backers thank you to all the backers uh, let's go ahead and list those backers right now just uh, a time more because they definitely definitely Deserve the acknowledgement, uh, Mr. Solomon Carranza, executive producer, Victor and Jamie, Solomon, oh, sorry, Solomon Carranza, yes, uh, Raquel Gamboa, Monica Uriarte, Anonymous, Anonymous, we love you, uh, Albert, Leslie Ann Epperson, Sharon Alexander, Salval de Negro, Horacio Rodriguez, Bart Santelo, Eva Carrillo, Whitney Clark, Maribel Ibarra, AJ O'Neill, Alfonso Sagun, and Leda Caring. You all, let me go ahead and get my mug back on screen just so that I can see. You all basically and literally said through, there we go, through your uh, contributions, you all literally said um, you believe in this production and you want to make sure that people get paid and fed. And um, no one made you give a, a, a contribution, I asked. You stepped up to the plate. I will forever, ever be uh, grateful to you for that. And again, for stepping up to the plate, 
uh, you all, as well as anyone else, any anyone else who would love to um, step up to the plate with a donation, can be enrolled in our final once the uh, the campaign is over, our final uh, contest in conjunction with Ken's Hardwood Barbecue, to where if and when you are the lucky winner, and I hope that you are. Assistant Director Fausto Nofrenteria and myself will get you on over for a meal with us two to Ken's Hardwood Barbecue, located at 5250 East 22nd Street. Uh, it's founded by uh, Mr. Ken Alexander and his son KG. They are family owned and operated. I myself have had some of Ken's barbecue. I need to have more of it. But it is amazing. It is amazing. And if you want to seek them out, they are at 5250 East 22nd. Uh, phone number 745-4647. They use hickory and pecan wood in their smoker. And their desserts are homemade. I hope I don't have to convince you with all of the yummies that are on screen. There's Mr. Ken and KG on screen. Um, you guys, they are family owned and operated. Let me go ahead and get me on camera. They're family owned and operated and I thank them sincerely from the bottom of my heart for uh, this uh, joint venture in which I get to take you, the winner of uh, the competition, you know, via donation to Ken's on me. That way you can have Ken's. I mean, you saw it. I, I hope I don't have to further convince you because, I mean, everyone knows good barbecue right when they see it. It's right in front of them right now, right in front of you right now. And, um, we want to sit down with you, hear what you have to say. Why donate? Do you have an interest in film? What kind of movies do you like? What do you want to see? What else do you have to say? We want to get to know you on that level. And if you're not in town, you're going to get a gift certificate from us, okay? So you are not forgotten if you are out of town, out of outside of Tucson, Arizona. Everyone, thank you so, so much for tuning in this uh, evening. As I've been going for a little while now, and uh, my glass of water isn't even half done. No honesty, but uh, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you to uh, Sharon, Ken, and KG of Ken's Barbecue. Uh, I really appreciate this opportunity to you all, and um, everyone who has stepped up in this project and who has shown up in front of as well as behind the camera. Um, you guys, I, I there are no words, no thank yous, no no words profound enough to really express how grateful I am for you guys uh, to have said, you know what, this is important, let's see this happen, let's make this happen. You guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and close out one more time. Let's take a look at Ken's Barbecue. I will take you there, if you're the lucky winner, through enrolling uh, via Indiegogo, via campaign donation. Ken's Barbecue information as well as the Indiegogo information are in the body of this of the description of this post it'll be there after this facebook live is over in just a few moments and also um i will put it in the comments you can't miss it okay and even if um if not for a donation to our indiegogo campaign go out and have some barbecue go out and support ken's um they're a great family organization and um they're right on 22nd street you won't be disappointed by the food at Ken's. I personally, personally can tell you that. I can personally guarantee you that. You guys, thank you so much. And once again, without further ado, Ken's Barbecue. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's the video. Ken's Barbecue, located at 5250 East 22nd Street, 745-4647. Uh, established by Mr. Ken Alexander and his son KG. They are family owned and operated. They use hickory and pecan wood in their smoker and... All of their desserts are homemade. Oh my god. And as I was saying before, while I was editing this video, it's really hard to edit video like this and not get hungry or have your stomach rumble, want to go there. I'm hungry right now as I speak these words. But yeah, you guys, go ahead and support. I love you forever. And um, yeah, would definitely love to take you there after uh, you win as part of the, uh, the campaign. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great night. Love you all.